Hey, how's it going guys? Join a new video where today I wanted to show you how to make console info in Unreal Engine for, for making your custom console commands. So actually in Unreal there's the game console, this one right here, uh, that's already with Unreal programmed, that we can make a custom console to appear while making a key combination. So this one works with a few commands like for example Let's just be typing in slash slash give share one and take a close look and right here into basic item you see this goes up like crazy so you see uh, we can also make uh, this other command And now we can go through the walls and there's this other command that makes us walk again. So you see we just don't go through the wall right now. These are the three commands are already programmed in right here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make them all. So uh, let's get started by going on into an empty level without the console. So I come up into a so we're just right back here in the new level I made that's empty where I'm gonna show you how I made that theme for the console so let's get started first of all we're gonna be needing a uh, user interface that's gonna be a blueprint widget that's going to be um, game hat so we open up the game hat and inside of the game hat we're gonna be just typing in uh, whatever we're gonna be needing so I'm gonna be just adding in right here um, into the game hat draw whatever you want I'm gonna be adding set of right here a uh, canvas panel, okay? So, canvas panel. We take out the canvas panel. We're gonna be taking in up right here image, right here fast. We're gonna make this so fast. Let's make this adjust us to the middle of the of the canvas panel, the whole canvas panel, and then. So any table text in right here. We drag this in right here. Uh, join this, filling up the whole screen. And now, um, let's just take right now a button, okay? Let's just make this canvas panel bigger. So this is going to be my console. We're going to take up this button right here. It's going to be same send. We're going to be the, the table text right here, right away, and this image just like the text. So let's make the image just black. Accept, and we take up this in right here. The text is going to be just type some uh, command. Good. So this will be saying type some commands to it whenever we open up the game. Let's put some text in right here. That's gonna be sent. Whenever we click in right here, it'll be sending the command. So unclicked. Let's just make um taking up the, the table text. Get and get text. This one in right here. And what we're going to be doing is just making our re this right here to equal text. Okay? We take the uh, being right here the equal text. Um, making a variable that's going to be um, slash slash um, ghost. And this command uh, is going to be a text command. So let's compile. Typing slash slash ghost. And when we type in a slash slash goes instead of writer and click send, it will be just going up right here and making us to become ghost. So let's make branch, connect this in right here and click the button, and then let's make a console command. This will be executing the command ghost. That's the way we get instead of a ghost. And then if it's working, it will be just print string. Okay, this text is going to be saying. It worked right here. So 
let's compile we just can simply customize whatever we want in right here so um, now that we got all this in right here let's simply come up right here into the first person blueprints um, where is it? right here let's make up from the game play let's create widget let's get up right here the game hub so click game hub and let's add to viewport so j let's just simply compile come up to play and we're going to be opening this making this big so you see this happening right here and we can just simple oops sorry come on right here and type where we want so send and this one we're working okay so it's lasso clash ghost send it works so as you can see right now if I come right here I can go through this wall so you see and getting the heck out of here but there's one thing what I really want to be making is actually there a way to hide and show the console so what we're going to be doing in right here is actually come on right here and uh, make a barrel right here that's going to be game hat we're going to make this game hat we press right here a reference so this is going to be a reference variable so we're going to type in set and we're going to be connecting this in right here okay so you guys see this in right here we compile and now we might be able to do this whenever we press T and let's come up right here whenever we press Control, alt and shift and then we press T it will be just going up to show the console but don't forget the first you get to press control alt and shift in that order if you want or the other you can make it but just press first shift control alt and then t to be making this work i just tried by pressing first t but it didn't work so first what we're going to be doing is actually come up right here get the game hat um getting um the console so we're going to be taking up right here uh, this uh, canvas panel we're going to call this console we're going to compile go in right here and get console game hat we get we get in from here console but first before I forget again it must be a variable this canvas panel as always I forget and then compile okay so now you see this is in right here actually okay so then set visibility and duplicate and paste um get this in right here let's make a new variable that's called is console open and this is going to be a boolean variable okay so let's just compile let's make a branch let's make this the condition and if it's true that it's open, it's going to be a game being hiding. And if it's false, it's going to be make it visible. But we need first right here set, copy and paste, change this in right here and change this in right here. And if it's getting full, uh, invisible, hiding, it's going to get false. And if, it, if it's going to get visible, it's going to get true. So we compile, come up to the game, and show it first come up right here to console right here to hat. And we're going to choose this in right here, hide them. Okay, into the visibility zone. Let's get started. We see there's nothing. We press Shift, Control, Alt, and then T, and we open up this console. So you see, we get in right here to console, and <laughs> we can do it pretty much where we want. So as you can see, I can scroll through this wall. That if I type in also slash ghost. I just send I can start to go through the walls so you just can do pretty much wherever you want just by customizing these commands uh, you can remove if you want the slash or slash and this is for making custom commands like adding some different kind of items to your inventory so this is it how you do it you just simply can customize and make these different actions so thank you so much for watching guys and um, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next time and before I forget about this, if you're going to make more than one command, you're going to make 
a sequence after the button and then make another command so now it's done um, thank you so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next time goodbye